going on everybody? We are about to enter Mobile, Mobile, Alabama, and we're gonna head up to Barnyard Buffet, which is supposed to be Alabama's number one rated buffet. So uh, it is going to, by the time we get there, it's gonna be 6.30 p.m. They are open till eight. I think that should be ample like time, you know what I'm saying? Like, I often don't like to show up at buffets too late, but an hour and a half to close, and I think it should be pretty good. You still should have a good selection. Um, so according to their website, they have lots of options. It is a Saturday, so they offer um, barbecue. And then of course, like uh, another specialty they have for certain hours is whole catfish. And then of course they have all your other like classic Southern favorites, fried chicken. Um, I'm sure they have a variety of other different, you know, meats and desserts and sides and all that stuff. So anyway, some and what they advertise, they're like, just like your mama made. So some real Southern food, some real home, you know, grown cooking. Um, so yeah, let's go have some fun. Let's eat some food. Should be good. And uh, that's about that. So uh, the best buffet in Alabama. Let us go. Hey everyone, real quick, I wanna thank sponsor today's video being Trade Coffee. So I've always enjoyed a good cup of coffee, but I had no clue where to start when it came to actually buying my own. So that's where Trade comes in. So Trade actually hooks you up not only with the nation's best local roasters, but Trade helps match you to a quality product and selection based on your preferences, and it'll ship just straight from the roastery so it gets to you for the peak freshness. So essentially how it works, you go on the website and take their quiz, and then you're gonna answer a couple questions about your coffee and Trade will curate matches just for you. Step two, it gets shipped to your door at your desired frequency, so it's always fresh, you never run out, and it comes in compostable packing materials as well. Step three, simply rate and repeat, so Trade can continually match you with copies that you'll love. So I found the coffees coming from Trade to be of an excellent quality, and it's awesome that they're just coming from local roasters. And I've gotten to meet some cool roasters like Alma here. Alma is actually fourth and fifth generation coffee growers. The beans come directly from the family in Honduras where they're actually roasted in Canton, Georgia. And not only does it smell great, but it tastes good too. Trade also guarantees that you'll love your first coffee. And if you don't, they're gonna ship you out a new bag. So what's super cool is right now you can save $15 off your first three bags. So just sign up and take the quiz by clicking that link down below and it's free shipping. So like I said, use my link down below guys, get $15 off your first three bags. And with that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. All right, once we got some items, I got some um, carrot salad, this is carrot slaw. I got a uh, coleslaw, I got some tomatoes. I got a big uh, pork rib which looks very nice and saucy. The barbecue is available on Saturdays. Then we have big catfish. Look at the pieces of these sized catfish. They look awesome. And some fried chicken, so let's try all these out. We do have our hot sauce, we do have some ketchup. The coleslaw has a really like peppery taste to it. And that carrot salt tastes interesting. Alright, let's try ourselves some of this catfish though. Really nice, kind of sweet. You definitely kind of get um, almost reminds me of like a fried chicken, like batter on it. Nice addition with the uh, hot sauce. Quite a heavy uh, kind of salt to it. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good though. Hey everyone, welcome to Zooter. Today we're here in Mobile, Alabama. Yes, or Mobile. Mobile, Alabama. Although it looks like Mobile. Mobile, Alabama. Um, at the Barnyard Buffet, which is supposed to be the best buffet in Alabama, at least according to some of the signs. Uh, and Mobile is in southern Alabama, really close to the water. I think 
the catfish and the uh, hot sauce combo is definitely one to go for. Should I fry chicken? Very, very moist. This is less than crispy, but the chicken's very flavorful. Like, very good flavor, very moist. There you go, this is a bit of crunch to it. Very good. And this is a breast. So as I mentioned, we got here about 6.30 p.m. on a Saturday. They were open until 8 o'clock, um, so I figured we have enough time to kind of try some things out. So as you saw here, I obviously started with the catfish, the fried chicken, some of my favorites. Um, when I consider like southern foods, if that makes sense, especially like southern buffets, one I have frequented in the past, of course, is the Golden Corral. Of course, this is much more homegrown. This is much more um, country cooking, more authentic southern cuisine. Uh, Golden Corral definitely is southern cuisine but admittingly it is you know a big chain and a lot less uh, less heartfelt and a less let's say family family cooking now let's try these pork ribs though definitely very very large nice and saucy Ooh. the weekend price like the Saturday price was slightly higher than like the rest of the week same as the Sunday price was higher so the weekend prices were higher than the weekdays um, but still it was very affordable um, it was about $15 or just let, like, yeah, about $15 um, for my meal. And the kind of specialty they had on the Saturday, which again, they usually had a specialty of the day, um, was the barbecue. Uh, that being said, the only real barbecue that I saw was this these ribs, um, which they, at least at this point, had very limited selection of. Like literally had like maybe three or four ribs left. Definitely very sticky sweet. Tastes good though. But as far as a barbecue rib went, you know, like sauce and a little bit of smoke and all that good stuff, it was pretty solid. You know, no real complaints. Um, I, I was enjoying it. I, you know, I called some some solid barbecue definitely. And you know, especially when you're getting it like at a buffet, it was a definitely a good rib if that makes sense from a buffet. Being at least it was actually like smoked, you know, and barbecued, not just broiled. All right. So I went and got some more uh, fried chicken. I went and got some more catfish. Some also more catfish, and then I have um, this is I, I believe it's a pork pot roast. Uh, it has like uh, vegetables in there as well. There's some candied yams, which are very very like candied, like sugary looking. Got some green beans with pork, and then uh, yeah, so we'll have to try uh, all those items there. Green beans. Really nice flavor of the green beans. Tell there's some porky juices in there. And with the beans, for example, like I said, you could definitely tell that they were cooked with pork, and I'm talking some really nice fatty pieces of pork. There's definitely some fat in there. Um, whereas something, again, unlike Golden Corral, is very, there's not a lot of fat in it. This, again, was really homegrown country cooking where they don't care about calories. Try candy, yeah? Those are sweet. Look at that. It's like. Mm. It's almost like pure sugar. Delicious, but hella sweet. Try this roast. So basically, like a pulled pork. Pork roast. Braised. Not bad. I'm also getting the uh, catfish fillets. Those do the whole catfish up there. Maybe I'll try one. This just seems more convenient. What I did come to find though, and I think it was like more of a dinner specialty, is with the whole catfish versus just having the fillets. Big pieces though. And they were, like in regards to getting uh, actually like catfish at a restaurant, these are definitely the biggest pieces of catfish I've ever gotten at a restaurant. Very, very large. 
Um, now, again, the whole catfish was the specialty. I think the fillets, again, they had all the time. The whole catfish was something that as soon as the people like saw them out, as soon as they put out the new tray of them, people were grabbing them up. And that was something that I didn't identify on right away. This catfish was good, don't get me wrong, but it definitely, you know, you could tell it kind of been sitting around a little bit longer than probably those whole catfish were. And the people, again, were just loving the whole catfish. So, you know, again, buffet logic, everybody, pick what is going hot, you know, that is the best, that's the best thing. If you can wait a little bit longer, wait for the hot tray, or if you identify what everybody is grabbing up and taking, it's probably A, really, really good, and B, definitely fresh. So, you know, some of my buffet logic, buffet skills, which even I kind of maybe missed out a little bit on, just because I was thinking of, you know, convenience or maybe even a little bit more just like comfort and what I was more familiar with. Look at this crunch of that piece. When it came to the actual taste of the catfish, the batter is really nice. It kind of reminded me of like a little bit less um, corn mealy and a little bit more like a fried chicken batter in a way. Um, whereas like I'd say that kind of more like maybe a little bit more flourish or something in there. Still like pretty mealy if that makes sense. Uh, but it, it tasted good. The catfish was definitely uh, nice tasting. Definitely pretty salty. They had quite a bit of like seasoning I'd say in the catfish itself. Um, where arguably I think you probably could eat it with like either plain or just a little bit of tartar sauce, maybe a little bit of ketchup, um, but like you wouldn't need much addition. As like I said, it was definitely already, definitely like, well, it was flavored. One other thing's for sure, they have some crazy looking desserts up there. Lots of different pies. And they all look really nice. Now when it comes to anything fried, especially like fried chicken, cabbage, etc., one of my favorite combos is a ketchup and a hot sauce combination. If you've never tried it, it's really, really good. It's spicy, sweet, salty, all of the above. And I really, really like that. So when it comes to fried food, that is definitely one of my favorite combinations and something which if you're not familiar with or haven't seen before, you'll definitely see me use when I eat leisurely, whether that be at home or whether that be, you know, at a buffet or something along those lines. All right, so try something new. I got the uh, fried shrimp. You also have this, I believe it's like a romelade sauce. Romelade, I got some more catfish. Then I got some more fried chicken. I decided to try some of their carrots. I also got some uh, corn, which is a new one. And then one item I didn't get, but I will try next time, is the whole catfish. The whole catfish, and people, like, as soon as they go up, they're grabbing them. So it must be really good. These are some homegrown, buttery, homemade carrots, that's for sure. Rich. Corn's all right, too. Sweet. One thing I will say is the staff were absolutely exceptional. They were all so friendly. They were so catering. Um, they were really, uh, they were really kind of I obviously not used to people filming in there. So they were very, um, again, like I think you know, extra attentive, uh, maybe because of that. But I really appreciated them. Um, they were all very friendly. Uh, when it came to like the food items, um, you know, again, uh, it, I think maybe because it was the end of the night, I noticed that some things like weren't really getting restocked unless they were really getting depleted, such as like the whole catfish. Very friendly people. But everything was good, and like I said, definitely you can say it's kind of like that, like your mama made, really rich, uh, you know, homegrown cooking. I guess is kind of the best way I would put it. Alright, try the fried shrimp. Very good crunch on that. Let's see what this. Let's see what this sauce is. Never mind, it's cheese sauce. One thing I do wish they would restock is the ribs up there. Um, maybe it's getting, it's getting a little later. I'm not sure they are going to, but that's something I would like to try. I was try quite a few. There's a few other items I haven't tried. Maybe we will. We'll keep working through some of them, but definitely the cabbage and the chicken are solid. That's why I keep going back.
contrary to common belief, I also do really like spicy food, like a Louisiana style hot sauce or like that level of heat, I could literally drink out of the bottle. And I do like a bit more heat if I'm not eating a large quantity of food. Um, of course, I don't really like Carolina Reapers or anything, but a hot sauce I find adds such a nice flavor and just that little bit of burn is delicious. All right, so I was able to get one of the whole catfish, the notorious whole catfish, these are flying, flying out the water, flying off the table up there, um, flying fish. Then I got some more of the uh, pork, the uh, pork roast. This is a piece of like, I, I think it's, I don't know if it's beef or like, it, well it is beef, but I don't know if they're called a steak or a roast, but I got a piece of beef and then we got some more green beans. I was a little unsure of this, but we'll give this a try. That's just good. It's almost just like, um, kind of like beef jerky. At that though everybody, there's lots of natural commentary, so I'm just going to kind of leave you to it. Um, let me know down below what your favorite food item is that we've eaten so far. You know, whether it be the beef or the beef tips, the catfish, the green beans, you know, all the above. But anyway, like I said, we're going to work our way through the buffet a little bit more. There was quite a few options. And uh, at that guys, I'll let you get to the rest of the video and ultimately let's see what happens. Like I said, you can tell this is a real kind of home style cooking. No, uh, no worries about calories at Let's try this. Catfish? It is good. Very tender, very soft. Like, very, very soft. Very tender. Different taste than the fillets we had up there, though. This is a little bit more, uh, a little like fishier, I guess. Not in a bad way. But very fresh. Got some more catfish, got some fried chicken as well. Kind of the items that I've come to find that I really enjoy it, so I'm sticking with it. And then started breaking the desserts. So we have what is, I believe they call this a sugar free uh, jello pie actually, which is pretty cool. Um, then I have this, I have no clue what this is, but it looks really good. It's some kind of a pie, it's like yellow. Banana, banana, banana cream pie. Then they have a chocolate pie with a meringue on it. You just got a little piece. All right, let's try some of these pies. So here I got what I get, I believe is what they call the uh, sugar-free jello pie. It's like a chocolate mousse. It reminds me of uh, the flavor of like chocolate ice cream. Graham cracker crust, whipped cream on top. Solid.
what we have found to be a banana cream pie. One thing I will say is it's, um, this is definitely like kind of thick, like the filling, the banana filling. It's not like a, it's not just a pure soft cream. It's like a, it seems baked. It's almost the consistency of like a, a firm cheesecake maybe. Chocolate pie, this is a meringue top on it. Thank you. So the chocolate filling is very, very, very like a deep, dark kind of chocolate. It almost described like a dark chocolate. Pretty good. We also have a small uh, table of like hot desserts. Um, they have some things left. So this a little bit of what will be a blackberry cobbler, I believe. And then they have these squares that have like little raisins in them. I just got like literally a sliver just to give it a try. Um, normally I do have an ice cream machine. Uh, it is out of order at the moment. Um, and then there's, there was a couple of the cobblers which are kind of out. Again, there's kind of later, so I'll give them that. Um, but yeah, a couple different kinds of cobblers. And then some kind of a uh, square thing. Reminds me of like a, uh, what's that called? Slipped my mind. Kind of like a raising pudding thing. Definitely real, uh, real blackberries in there. Sweet, pretty good. All right, they're closing up here. They are closing at eight, so basically ten minutes. So, last things we'll try. We do have a banana pudding, one of my favorites. I do love a good banana pudding. And uh, then I got another piece of their sugar free jello pie. Uh, we obviously just had this, but try the banana pudding. So, I have banana chunks in here, got the vanilla wafers. It is like a more of like a Custard. Solid. So yeah, barnyard overall solid, no complaints. Um, but that everybody, hope you enjoyed today's video. A little bit quick one, like I said, kind of ran out of time. Um, but yeah, overall, no solid food. Quite a, quite a variety, quite a few options. Uh, definitely kind of some um, you know, southern favorites. Definitely some of those items, like I said, like those candy yams. Those are like a dessert caliber. I think those maybe sweeter than a dessert. And not that it's a bad thing. Just definitely, like I said, homegrown cooking, like your mom made. There is no uh, concern for calories. We'll put that real country cooking. Um, but yeah, huge thanks to the staff here. They've been really friendly. And uh, that's about it, guys. So if you liked the video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and uh, comment down below. Out of the items I had, what's your favorite kind of food item? I think that my favorite today was hmm, probably the catfish. Catfish is really, really good. Pies were nice as well. So that everyone, thank you again. Of course, happy eating.
Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock. Right now, you can save $15 off your first three bags, and it's free shipping. So like I said, use my link down below, get $15 off your first three bags.